This is Tim from Swing Catalyst, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to download our software and also the configuration and downloads for the cameras. So first, I'd like you to go to your browser, type in swingcatalyst.com. You'll bring her to our homepage. You can scroll down here to the bottom and go to downloads. From the downloads page, go ahead and click on existing customer. Now, this is if you already have a current license. Uh, if you purchase the license or have a trial license, you can, uh, if you need to, you can go here and click on the download and just follow along here. You want to accept, go next, just continue next and to install. So this is downloading the Swing Kettle software. What I've done is you can go to your email that you received the license. And what we want you to do is go ahead and copy that license. I don't really want to show you whose this is, so uh, I put that on a separate file at the moment. But I will get back when this is downloaded. Software is now completed, so you can click Finish. And here you should be able to see that it creates a Swing Catalyst icon up here on your screen. Uh, what I like to do as a shortcut is just drag it down on the bottom because then you can just click it once. It's a quick access, so I'm going to click it, open it. You'll say yes to that. And it takes a moment for the swing kettles to initialize. I'm going to install the license. Just go ahead and paste that key in that I sent to you earlier. And from there, you'll click install. I'm going to pause this step just for a moment. So now the software has been activated and what I'd like you to do now is exit out of that and go back to our homepage because now we're going to download some drivers. So from here, we are going to download for this particular session, the point gray cameras where you have a 64 bit Windows computer. So you wanna click right on that. Move this up a little. There we go. So if one can see here, sorry about that. There it is, right down there. Let me uh, open this. So you're going to say yes. Up comes the FLIR camera information. It's you're going to install. Again, next you're going to accept the terms. Next, just continue with next. And for these, they are Gigi cameras. So I'm going to click the Gigi cameras. I'm going to click Confirm. And Install. They have now been installed successfully. So at this point, I'm going to go to the folder. This PC. And C drive. Go to Program Files, Point Gray. I'm going to go to Flycap, Bin 64. And what I'm going to do is find the Giggy Configurator. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to send that to the desktop as a shortcut. From here, I am going to right click on the icon there and I'm going to rename it as the IP Settings. Now, if you go back to the program, I'm going to go to the fly cap. Again, right click on it, send that to the desktop. Click on the icon, uh, right click on it. And from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename that one to adjust camera settings. So we will be getting back to those here in a moment. You can click out of that file and then down the lower right hand side, this is how I like to set up the camera. So I'm going to um, go here to where the um, internet is. So I'm going to click where I have the Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm going to go to the network settings. From here I go to networked and sharing. And right now I have my Wi-Fi there. So what I'm going to I'm going to connect the camera. Now on the back of the computer with the Gigi cameras, I do 
make a note on which camera this is because we always want the same camera to be going into the same port because we're setting IP addresses. So right here, the camera came up. I'm going to, um, sorry, I'm going to go up here to uh, this one here, adapter settings, and there it is right there. So here I'm going to right click on, I'm going to rename this one as face on right. So now I know it's that one there. Let me make sure I spell it correctly. Okay, now I can open it up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of everything except for where it says point gray. You leave the version four and take away everything else there. Click OK. I like to reopen the properties and go to configure, go to advanced. I just want to make sure that the um, interpret modem rate is on extreme. You want to make sure the jumble pack is at 914. I like to go down the buffers, the receive buffers, max those out. So add those all the way up. They'll go all the way up to 2048. I also like to do that with the transmit buffers as well. And then after this, I like to go to power management, take the power away so it doesn't allow cameras to uh, turn off this device. So then I click OK. In a moment, this should come back. I'll open up again, go to properties, find out where it says Internet Protocol version 4. Double click on that, and here's where we're going to set the IP addresses. So with the IP address, we're going to use 10, 0, 1, one and then 255 255 255 now this is for the first camera if you do the second camera you do the same procedures if you're going to put two in the third spot then three then four and so on you can have everything else the same click ok ok there close i can leave that there for a moment so now i'm going to go into the ip settings icon from FLIR going to open it up say yes and here it will come up as the block volume is bad you want to click on it go automatically force IP address say yes there it comes up it's no longer bad you want to set that say yes open up again now here you want to keep it as a persistent IP address, so go ahead and click that one down towards the bottom, and same with the DC or DHCP, click there. Now underneath that you want to click on the copy from current, so these two will be exactly the same, and then set address, say yes, okay, and then test the camera. That's how you've installed one of the cameras. Now, we can do the same thing for the second one, so let's go ahead with that one. So again, I go back here to, if I start from the beginning here, to the uh, shared the network, go to change adapter settings. Now I'm going to add the second camera, so this is going to be my down the line camera. So let me connect that one. There it comes up. Again, right click, rename down the line, double click on it, properties, take those away except for point gray, always like to click OK to refresh that, go up to configure, advanced, interrupt modern rate to extreme, Jumbo pack, 914 bytes. Receive buffers, again, max those out. 2048, same with transmit buffers, go 2048. Click OK. We'll reopen that one. Now what we're going to do is go back to the version four we're going to set this to the IP address. Now again, it's 10, 0, 
Now here's where we put the one, but since it's a second camera, we're gonna put two. Again, you'll continue if you had a third or fourth camera. And then the one, and here's two, five, five, two, five, five, two, five, five. Click OK, OK, close. And you have that camera set. So at this time now, again, you can go to the IP settings with the Giggy configurator. Up will come the second camera, which will say bad. Again, automatically force IP address. Again, you want to copy from current. Don't forget to change that this is a persistent IP address down here. Set the second camera, or sec second one. Click OK. We'll test the camera. And that one passed. So now we can go into Swing Catalyst. We'll open that up. Just go through there, click OK on that. Takes a moment, so I'll be back when it's, well, there it is. Okay, so now you can go into Settings, Cameras. We're gonna click on both of these. And this one here is the down the line camera. So make sure that we click here. We're going to go down the line. Make sure it's turned on. Then this is the face on right. So make that one the face on right camera. So that's how you set up the cameras. Thank you for purchasing your Swing Catalyst. And again, follow our support page. Uh, support at swingcatalyst.com. Uh, reach out to us and uh, yeah, enjoy your system. Thank you.